Remarkable 17 title defenses, only three have reached the final bell. He's had more championship fights than this man. Myung Sub Park has had fights, 18 to 15. Park has fought only once in 96. A decision victory. It was the only time in his 11 wins that his opponent heard the final bell. He is 11 and 4 with 10 knockouts, while Lopez is 43 and 0 with 33 KOs. Lopez in the white trunks and Park in the black trunks. The referee gave instructions in English. Neither fighter speaks a word of English. Yeah, I was going to say. Whereas the last in the last fight, the referee was perfect. In this fight, he's absolutely lost. Well, I'll tell you what, Park just showed a pretty good chin. He got hit with one of the cleaner right hands that Lopez has thrown right on the button and didn't really flinch. Lopez, not usually a fast starter. He's very disciplined and very patient, as we have talked about. Very precise and accurate with his punches. He sees what he wants to do, and then he executes, and he gets very upset with himself if he doesn't. Well, now, I wonder if in the script for the 49ers, uh, as we throw it back, the script for this one was go out and do a certain thing differently well, because he's not starting as slow as usual. G given that it's December the 7th, Bobby, maybe it's a surprise he had uh, to just launch on him. He's, after all, he is a tough fighter in the first round when he wants to be. By the way, you notice that the, that the gloves are the Mexican flag, red, white, and green? Doesn't bode well for the no. uh, challenger. <laughs> No. Uh, Lopez, very patient at the start, not in a hurry, but a superb finisher, a student of the game. The big one, too. There you go. Surgical like, master of the uppercut. There's the left uppercut, doubles up with the left uppercut, a straight left going strictly with the left there. Then a combination by Ricardo Lopez and opening up early here on the challenger. You know, I'm a little bit surprised. He rocked him with that one, too, and didn't really come in and jump on him, which is something certainly I would have done in most fighters would. Known to wear opponents down, but he's going for the quick finish tonight. Boy, is he ever. I don't think I've ever seen him this fast. I don't think I've ever seen him go after a guy this fast. Whoa. Well, sweet of but a left floors the challenger park. A straight ball. Into it. This fight's over, fellas. Yeah, this fight is over. -E -E a bloody Young Sub Park staggers to his feet. Less than a minute remaining in round one. Uh, I don't believe Will it continue? continue? Oh, I don't think so. It does continue, but for how long? Lopez looking to finish it off. A left cut, a combination of that set. Chuck Cassett steps in, and it's over in round one. I think the referee second guessed the decision and decided, you know what? It's just not worth it. Yeah, I, I, I do believe Bobby, he had good second thoughts in a hurry because this guy was no, in no shape when he got up. You could see it, he had blood coming out. It was, it was no point continuing. But Bobby, that's the first time I've ever seen this guy come out that fast. Not only not just that, the fact that he came out that fast, but Bertie, it's the hardest I've ever seen him punch. Okay. With single punches and in combination.